Here we're going to identify the slope and y-intercept of four lines just based on their graph, uh, based on their image, rather than based on having an equation for them. Um, and it's actually it's pretty easy once you get the idea. Um, so for line A here, the first thing we need to do is find our y. So our y is our, I'm sorry, our y, our b. Our b, which is our y-intercept, and that's the place where the line crosses the y-axis. And you can see it marked here with a blue dot. Now it's a green dot. So the line crosses the y-axis at 5. So that means that our b is 5, or our y-intercept is 5. And if we write that down as a coordinate, it's going to be 0, 5. The y-intercept coordinate is always 0 something, because the x-coordinate uh, of the y-intercept is always 0. Then we can see that there's also another point down here that's been marked, and that this one is 2, 3. So there's another point at 2, 3. Now we can identify the slope, m, with the rise over run by identifying either going from the points themselves or from the graph. For this one, let's use the graph. Let's say that we're looking to see that we're running here from 1, 2 points. So we're starting at 0, going over to 2. So our run is 2. And our rise is negative 1, negative 2. So we have a rise of negative 2, and that reduces to negative 1. Got a little crowded there. M is negative 1. So then for point B, we have, or line B, I'm sorry. For line B, we have our y-intercept down here, and it's at 0, 2. So B is 2, and the coordinate is 0, 2. And we can see another marked point up here. And that point then is 1, 5. So we have a point at 1, 5. This time let's calculate our m using the points alone. So we're going to have our difference in y, so our change in y from 5 to 2, that's negative 3, over our change in x, so from 1 to 0, that's negative 1. Negative 3 over negative 1 is 3. So our m is 3. Let's take a look at c here. Our y-intercept is down here this time. So we have negative 1. So our b is negative 1. And the coordinate is 0, negative 1. And then we have another point marked up here. And this one is 2, 3. So we have a point at 2, 3. And then our m is rise from 3 to negative 1, so rise negative 4, and run negative 2. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is 2. And then finally, line d, we have our y-intercept down here at negative 3, so b is negative 3. And we have a point here at 4, negative 4. Point at 4, negative 4. And our rise over run is run 1, 2, 3, 4. Rise negative 1. So our slope is rise negative 1, run 4, or negative 0.25, either negative 1 fourth or negative 0.25, either is fine.